continues to, to show the ability to evade defenders, mobile in the pocket, but it seems like he has a tendency sometimes to force a throw rather than maybe just throw the ball away. He's, he's trying to make a play, um, which could have been you know, intercepted a couple of times. How do you remedy that? How, how do you sit down with him and, and go over that? Is that something that you've talked to him about? I thought his decisions today were good. Uh, you know, really any, anything that was close to to be intercepted, uh, I thought the, I thought I thought he threw a really accurate ball. I mean, in a in a very normal, safe place, uh, low below the waist uh, to Jake Bud, as he would have been uh, going to the ground. Uh, I thought it was a really well placed ball. Now they made a really good play. Uh, got a hand in there, tipped it, and it, it uh, tipped right to to one of their uh, defensive backs, and there was an interception. The other one, he, he threw to the end zone, jump ball situation, I think it was J.U. or Amara. And, uh, you know, outside of that, I can't think of another ball that he, that he forced all day. One, you know, one other decision he could have made, uh, he took a sack in the third quarter where he could have thrown the ball out of bounds, and that backed us up, and eventually but, you know, he missed that field goal you know, the last one. But those are, uh, those were the three decisions I thought, um, you know, I thought they were all good except, except the, you know, the one who could have thrown, thrown out of bounds and not taken the, the sack. But he's making good decisions. Uh, you know, I don't know how many decisions that is in a game, but make, make one, one bad one, uh, probably in the 90, high 90s percentage-wise to be bit A, most tests. I thought he did, I thought he put it himself well. I think that's a strength, he's making good decisions.